Hi there. Okay, so um, we're at number two then, part two. Okay, so here we are. Um, the things I want to like put back in. Let's go press the A key again. So let's go back to being in Z Sphere world. There we are. Press the A key, and we get our fantastical model back of a pulse cat. Right. Um, other things you want to have a look at. You can obviously move things as well. So if it doesn't quite line up, you can move your points. Just select, drag, and move simple as that. Um, the other thing you really want to look at is what happens when um, there we go how nice is that, there we go, that's more interesting isn't it what happens when you um, don't have time to finish it in the first session, you need to come back to a second session and bring this back in and start going all over it again um, so you know it's, it's pretty simple to work this and we'll have a quick look at when we get we are using some we haven't joined anything up yet so let's go and sort of see how we do that so shift key click it click and we'll say yep and then we'll go yep and then we'll go oh we're in hello we're in move mode there we go go nowhere with move mode idiot and to draw over the top here I'll start this side and I'll just go select the other side and that's sorted that out shift key again so click 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 there we go and then over to here that sorted that out and then hold down the shift key let go of the shift key click over here so hold down the shift key click to say that's my new start point that's my next one and then over here again shift key kaplunk and there we go and then the A key to give me some polygons okay these obviously don't connect or it's only going to connect um, triangles or quads um, or actually we'll do more than a quad if it can do if I sort of tip over here and see what we get if we um, give us a start point down here for instance we'll say there and oh there we go hit the A key now we get nothing filled in at the moment but if we maybe fill some of these things in here let's put that in there there we go and then see where that gets us we'll go We'll see if that works. Okay. Okay. So it does fill these in here. Okay. So even though that's got one, two, three, four, five, six sides to it, it does fill that in as a polygon. But it doesn't fill this in as a polygon. Okay. It will do triangles as well. So if I give a start point here, and so that's a triangle, that will that will create um, a triangle. Okay. So you can do triangles. You can do quads. If you can quad it that's the ideal way to go to get rid of something I'm in draw mode hold down the alt key I can bin it and that bins it ok if I want to start again here hold down the shift key I'll say yeah thanks there we go and then hold down the shift key click and then let go of the shift key click there we go and same with this here so I can go click 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 there we go and then click T click there we go and there we have it so sort of building this model up and hold down shift key again and there we go there and then we can sort of go there how's that go right that's completely done that now yeah so we've now got this basic model conforming to the surface although there's something not so great looking there got a triangle going over there so we'll um, oh that's with the polyframe button as well hit the A key again there we go take the polyframe off ah that's because we've got this yeah, so this is trying to guess. It's got one side, two, three, four. It's got five sides. It's made a quad. Yeah, it's made a, a polygon quad and a triangle to make that work. Okay, so we could sort of um, play with that and cut that up. If I want to add something in the middle here, yeah, I can sort of create that and go there. Sorry, create that and click there. There we go. And that will give a triangle okay so now I can sort of go start there and there we go okay so I've got more more of a defined shape working on that and hit the A key and sort of we have a quad there and three triangles we can see there with the polyframe on there we go yeah see how that's working okay and we'll turn polyframe back off again right so um, the other things you can do um, you'll notice let's go and scale in a little bit because we are dealing with very very small real estate here on the screen we're in draw mode you notice that we 
get some snaps working along the line you can see it's snapping to a quarter of the way along the line center point three quarters then the next line so we can start we can sort of say I want to start there hold down the shift key and I have done okay and then I can sort of would if it actually drew it yeah, there you go it's done it okay it's cool bit difficult to see on what we're looking at so let's pull back a little bit let's try and make another start point let's put a start point here so I want to make a start point here in the center hold down shift key and I want to make it to there and that's now join that so I can make a you, you can do quite detailed things I want to put a start point a quarter way along shift key click it and I want to go up to there and it has done okay so that's good so there you go really um, that's the building session of this sort of nailed out um, pretty simple don't forget to delete anything you can delete um, with the alt key so in draw mode at the moment I'm going to delete uh, that and that will just get rid of that one there click on that and that will get rid of all of that along there if I click in the middle of this and get rid of that that gets it does get rid of a lot of stuff so there is a bit of an art to this of on on deleting as well as creating yeah um, but it's quite good fun the thing I like about it is I was also because I'm a Max user um, I was also looking at the possibility of Polyboost for doing a similar sort of thing because well, one of the functions in Polyboost as a, a plugin for Max is it can do this type of thing the only hassle with it is your underlying mesh if it's a very detailed mesh you actually see the wireframe of that underneath and it's it's a little bit uh, I mean it's good but it's a bit difficult to see what you're doing sometimes um, so ZBrush sort of scores quite well in this regard that the the very detailed model underneath it looks like polygons but the thing you're building over the top is wireframe so it's quite nice um, with that that I think will do part two really so a bit more on, on building things um, there you go it's, it's pretty nifty isn't it it sort of does the deal and is good fun so you can either use this to make um, a low polygon version of what you're building but with a topology flow you want or um, or read topologize um, a high uh, a more, much more dense mesh a different way for animation um, other things you can do you, you can actually project the underlying high res onto these onto the low res as well um, and I'll do that in another video at another time but I think we're sort of up and running on how to do this don't forget um, previewing you can preview what you're looking at let's go and uh, scale out a little bit here you can preview what you're looking at with the A key and the settings for the preview if you go back in again now you can change the settings of that you can change the subdivision up to say 3 and then re-preview it and it's a much more smoother detailed model press the A key again you also got skin thickness on here down here so you can knock that up to like oh, I don't know that much and then preview it again and we'll sort of knock it up to sort of there preview again it's a much thicker version can you see that let's scale in a bit yeah so that's just the sort of overall thickness of what we're playing with and uh, there you go that I believe will it's not that down you can, to change things you can drag things along if you want an absolute number just click on it and type in zero and uh, that's got to be an easier way of doing it yeah and then the A key again just have a quick look and that my friends uh, concludes this so part two um, there you go catch you later cheers bye